Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build with your girl Truffle Bunny. Um, as you can see, me and Rocky have built um, this Equus track and it took us forever. I think it took like eight hours. So if you end up liking this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I know it's been a while since my last video, but hopefully this will make up for it. So <laughs> this took us forever. Um, we started off with building the outside of the track that way we knew exactly how big we wanted it and then we kind of just went from there so we put down foundations first and then we went along um, with ceilings to make it the same height all the way around and then after we put the ceilings down we put walls on the side to kind of close it in After we got all the walls placed, um, we then went around and put ceilings all the way across. So in order to do that, we had to put pillars down. But we learned that that was really hard in some spots because the pillars didn't want to place correctly. So we actually went back later on and put down foundations under the entire thing. So it took a while. This process was a while. So uh, we put foundations down over the entire bottom part and then just put uh, ceilings down over that to enclose it.
so this is what we ended up with. It was massive. I thought it was way too big at first, but it was actually, uh, it could seem to be a little bit bigger, but I don't know exactly how big it was, but uh, we kind of just went with it. Um, I think the next part we do is we paint on the track and we use a, the tan coloring um, in the spray painter and then we just run around and painted the outer six ceilings all the way around it to create the track. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. Um, so the tan part's gonna be the track, and then um, the middle part is gonna end up being a jousting area for the horses. And so what we do in the next part is we build out, um, on the right side of the track, we build out two ceilings, um, and we ended up having to put pillars down to support it, because I think we actually ended up going out one more around the corner so that we could add seating and that kind of stuff. And so uh, we put these ceilings down, put the pillars down, and then we're gonna work on the seating areas. So here's where we built out actually three ceilings on the edges and then we just went around and did a one high uh, one high walls and then I think we did like every two was a window or something like that but obviously you can do it the way that you like it um, and then after we got the walls down we put ceilings across because there's gonna be two different levels of seating um, and after we get that part done we're gonna go into the walls on the upper part. So you should end up with something kind of like this. Obviously you can uh, modify it the way that you like, but um, there's gonna be two different levels of seating. Um, and so on the first level, we're just gonna do benches. On the second level, we're just gonna do benches as well. But we're also gonna do two high glass walls and then a sloped roof over it for a covering. So here's where we're going through and placing the glass uh, walls too high. So you're just gonna do too high all the way around and then on the ends you're gonna put your sloped uh, wall so that you can do your sloped roofs. Okay, so here you can see both sides are done, and then in the middle we did just glass walls so that it didn't block any of the view, but we just did the, the seats on the side for like VIP seating or something like that. 
And so now I'm working on the starting part, um, I guess where the horses start in their little stables. And so I think we ended up doing like four stalls. Again, you can modify it to, to the way that you want it or need it. Um, that's just, we probably won't have more than four people racing at one time anyways. So um, I just put this little house so we can leave our, equi our equus here when we weren't here. So that way they have somewhere to go to be protected. So now we're going to work on the stadium uh, seating part of the build and on this back wall I went back and replaced all the uh, fences with wooden walls and so I just went up one high and then you're going to build uh, two ceilings back. So here I'm placing the ceilings, um, you're going to go uh, two back and then after you do the ceilings you're going to have to go through and place pillars underneath to support the next level. And so after you do the two ceilings and the pillars we're going to start building up. So now we're starting to place the walls and so you're going to do um, two walls high and then you're gonna place ceilings again. So you're just gonna place one overhanging and one behind. So after you place your ceilings, you're going to place your walls again and you're just gonna do the exact same thing that you did on the first floor. Um, so you're gonna place two high walls and then you're going to place pillars all the way down again so that it supports the next level. And so you should end up with something kind of like this. Um, I think it was either four or five levels high. So each level should look like an L. And so after you do uh, two ceilings and two walls, you do two ceilings and two walls all the way up. And so then after I got all that done, I went back and placed, um, I actually used wooden ramps so that I didn't have to use the sloped walls. And so I did that for the roof part over the seating. As you can see, I kind of put these pillars out in the middle. That way I could extend the roof out every time for each level. And every level it got bigger and bigger. So there's going to be like this big balcony staircase type area in the middle there. So on the top level in the middle on this big balcony area, I just placed the gla one high glass walls all the way around. It's going to be like a suite. So I did uh, one high glass walls and then I started going up with the sloped walls to make the sloped roof. Okay, so as you can see, it's only one high on these sides and then um, three high ultimately in the front, it just tapers up. And then I think I did three sloped uh, walls and then in the 
very middle, I did a flat ceiling so that way it wasn't super pointy. I just did glass walls all the way down on this middle part that way it was like this big huge window and then I brought like a little balcony out in the front here so that I could do the stairs um, I did the stairs right there you could see but it just didn't work out because there wasn't as much room on the inside so I brought it out and did the ramps on the outside Now I'm just doing the uh, stairs on the inside. I kind of just placed them where I could, where they would have the best um, placement. Um, so kind of just winged it from here. Um, I kind of just placed them wherever they looked best. So now I'm building the towers on the ends of the stadium seating. And so I'll just come out three from the side and go back. I think it was four um, or five. I had to put pillars down, obviously, because this was just not a flat area. So I put pillars down and then made it this, this flat space. So after I put the ceilings down, I started placing the walls. So I did a row of one high uh, wooden walls and then I did the glass kind of back and forth. Um, I did that on the front and then I did it on the side. I did it the exact same way on the, on the side. Then on the back, I just did straight wood walls because nobody's really going to see it. So you just build that up all the way. I think it was like 12 high um, all together. And then on the top, I used the ramps again because I wanted to have this hang off on each side. And then down the middle, I just did a regular wooden ceiling. And now on the back part, um, I am doing like a little box office just so that there's a little official entrance. Um, I kind of just came off um, and just, it's not a very big area, but I just came off the I guess second floor and then made two entrances and then just closed it in. And then I just made these two little uh, box office areas. It's just the um, metal chest from the S Plus mod and some gates, uh, or not gates, but fences. I just placed those in each corner and then placed some um, fences to make a line so it looked like there was an actual line. All right, and 
and there you have it that is the equus track i hope you guys enjoy it as you can see right there in the middle is a little jousting area so i can't wait till we can actually use this thing and do some racing and some jousting and stuff it's going to be a lot of fun um don't forget if you guys enjoyed this video to please hit the thumbs up button and please uh don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this one and we'll see you next time